Hello, if you are new here, my name is Jackie, spelled with a Q, not a K. I don't know why my parents spelled it that way. They just did. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is a beauty channel. I'm sure you probably figured that out by the name of the video. So if you enjoy, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you enjoy beauty related content, such as tutorials and playing with beautiful makeup, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have noticed in my analytics that not a lot of my watchers are actually subscribers. So if you haven't yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Next to that, there's a little bell. Ring the bell and you will become part of the hashtag notification nation. YouTube should alert you as soon as my videos go up. Uh, in my description box are my social media handles. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Don't post too, too much, but I do post some things. If you don't want to follow me on those, that's fine. No harm, no foul. I got that from somebody else. Yeah. Anyways, so today we are playing with some really pretty new W7. Well, it's new to me. It's not new new, but it's new to me. I found it at Five Below. I went to a different Five Below and I found these palettes. And I'm super excited about it because they're freaking gorgeous. So we're playing with this. We play with this lovely blurring primer. And we play with this Bronze Brilliance palette. So, if you want to know how I got this look and how these other products perform, then just keep on watching. And yeah, if you enjoy this video while you're watching, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you would think. <laughs> All right, let's get into this video. I'm so excited! Went to a different Five Below and found some more W7 makeup that I am just freaking excited about because it's gorgeous. Okay, first I'll show you. I found two primers from W7. This is a Blur to Perfection Faux Filter Primer Potion. And I thought, hey, we could try that out. So obviously this is going to be multiple videos because there's more than one primer and more than one other. You'll see. And then there's <laughs> the W7 Prime Magic Hydro Surge Primer. It says camera ready. And whoa, it looks like this. Excuse me. There we go. So that's the primers, and then I found this Bronze and Glow, Bronze Brilliance uh, palette that, I don't know, I didn't think it all the way through maybe. If I can open it, I'll show you why I didn't think it all the way through. Um, it looks like it might be a little dark for me. This might work for me, and I'm gonna try that as a bronzer. Obviously, bronze and glow, bronze glow. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna play with that. And then I got three palettes that are so freaking pretty. There's, they are dupes for Huda, aren't they always? Well, not always, there is that one Too Faced dupe, but um, I forgot what the, the Huda ones were called, but you might know if once you see these, but uh, the one I'm going to use today. Well, first I'll show you the other ones, and then I'll show you the one that I'm going to use today. Uh, w7 soft hues, and there's the rose quartz palette. That is so pretty. There's the amethyst palette. Oh, I love these shades, and then the one I want to use today is actually my birthstone, aquamarine. How freaking gorgeous is this? 
I'm so excited. So these obviously I'm gonna use in a different video. I can't use them all in one video. It would look strange. And then, yeah, so we're gonna start off with the eyes, of course. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. Sure, Jackie, if you can open it. First, prime. Er, we need eyeshadow primer. We always need the eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Belief Beauty eyeshadow primer. Should be no surprise to anybody, unless you're new here. If you're new here, hi. What up? Thanks for joining me. W7 is like my favorite brand right now. I am just in love with everything. Pretty much everything. There is one, uh, if you remember, I reviewed this one foundation that didn't quite work for me, but I did try mixing it with another one and it worked better, so. I think as long as I mix, of course it's way too light, so that might also be why it didn't quite work for me, but I also thought it was a little drying, but anywho's, when I mix it with a more dewy foundation, it, it is, it works. Anyways, so yeah, <laughs> now let's see if I can get this open. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Tell me that's not gorgeous. I need to swatch this. I need to know what that looks like. We're gonna swatch it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like an eyeshadow topper. It's hard to see. Can you see it right there? It's like a topper. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then I'm also gonna swatch that one that's also marbly. We're gonna see just uh, what that one looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> Freaking gorgeous. Ah, so excited. Okay, I need to get it down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. <gasps> I can't, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Very excited. We're gonna start off with, uh, mm -hmm. brush. <laughs> That's what we're in there. All right, we're gonna start off, wow, that's like, okay. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start off with this shade. And that's gonna be our transition. Do you like my background? I got a little, what is it? A, a Himalaya, a Himalayan, high, uh, it's something. It's a salt rock and it lights up. And then over here are the Dossier perfumes. That's, that's my background. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know, I'm interested. I love that thing, I think that's cool. All right, let's put this as our little transition shade. I'm already like really hot. I didn't turn on the air conditioner yet because for now I don't really like the background noise it makes in my videos, but I am like sweating. <laughs> matter I don't think because I don't think it even reaches me with all these lights in front of me anyway so yeah that is so pretty Ooh, I love it I love it look at it it's so pretty <gasps> I just love this stuff I love beautiful shades I love I just love makeup it's just I just love it I'm actually pre-filming this video. Uh, I already have this week's videos filmed, so this is going to be next week. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, look, it's so pretty. Oh, it's such a pretty color. All right, Jackie, calm down. <laughs> I get too excited. 
Ah! Okay, now in the outer corner, we're gonna take a brush. <laughs> Duh. All right, we're gonna go in the outer corner with, I bet you can figure it out. We're gonna go in the outer corner with this color. Yeah. Ugh. I'm just so excited. I just absolutely love. So this is a little deeper, but it's actually not too, too much deeper than the transition shade. I have to deepen that up with that, like, rose brown shade. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it might work. We'll see. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I love these colors. These are like one of my favorite colors. Which is so funny because it's my birthstone, so it's like, wow. But I mean, come on, it's so pretty. Who doesn't like this color? I can't imagine anybody would look at this color and be like, that's ugly. I would be like, what color do you like? <laughs> It'd be like black. <laughs> uh, I'm ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. What do we think? Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm going to take this little lead off. Tiny pencil brush. I'm actually going to go into that rose brown shade right there. I am going to deepen just the outer corner a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. This shade might not actually be dark enough. Hmm. I don't think it's dark enough. Do you hear my fridge trying to make ice, but it can't because there's no water source? <laughs> yeah, it didn't really, I don't know, maybe it's that brush. Let me find a different brush. Let me try this little angle brush. <laughs> that is a funny sound, okay. show up but we're gonna put it on the other side because you got it you gotta otherwise it won't be even I mean obviously it must show up a little but no I don't think it's dark enough but that's okay trial and error I'm going to go on the lid with this beautiful shade right here I'm going to use my finger because you know how I do it if you've been here, you know how I do it. If you haven't been here, um, I like shimmers uh, better when I use my finger with them. Oh, so freaking gorgeous. Man, they're even kind of like creamy. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. How do you not find that pretty? <laughs> I just can't imagine. Can't imagine somebody looking at that and going, ew, that's ugly. Like, I'd be like, you're insane. You have no idea what you're talking about. Other eye. Gosh, it's so pretty. So gorgeous. pinky and try to get that inner corner a little better. There we go. Get that with the other side too. 
There we go. All right, refrigerator, enough. so pretty. My fingers are very messy now. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Now we're going to go back into the crease with that transition shade and just touch that up. Yes, yes, yes. There's a little bit of fallout as you can probably see right in here. That's fine. I really don't care. It's too pretty to give a crap. All right, now we're going to go into that outer corner color. And we're going to. We're going to intensify that just a little bit. And we're not going to bother with that brown shade because clearly it doesn't do anything over this shade. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, I'm going to actually use a liner today. I feel... feel like a liner. How about the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen Ow! from e.l.f. <sighs> Shake. Mirror. I need a mirror. Wow. It's pretty. I'm going to clean it up, clean up the under eye. And sharpen that outer corner. You know, you know, like a nice crisp outer corner. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, oh, I'm gonna curl my lashes and add mascara. Do I wanna wear lashes today? Mm. Yeah, screw it, I'm gonna wear lashes today. All right, so I guess I'm really just gonna put on lashes, mascara and lashes. Okay, lashes are on. Oh, hold on, my camera's going to stop. Hang on a second. Okay, these are the Kiss 11 lashes, in case you were wondering. And yeah, now we're going to move on to the face. And we're going to try, today we're gonna to try the W7 Blur to Perfection Primer. Just seems interesting. Shake well before use. Okay. Microfine colorless pigments from a filter for smoother, more even looking skin. Formulated with cucumber, chamomile extracts, and vitamin C. Use alone or under makeup to prime your skin. That's what the back says, in case you're curious. You probably weren't, but told you anyways. All right. Oh my. Well, let me get a toothpick. This seems to be clogged. One second. This isn't gonna work if I can't get it out, right? All right, well, we got some out. See, it doesn't really wanna pick up, but we got some. So let's just put some there. Oh, Lord. It's a thicker primer, so this, this little, this doesn't work very well on this primer because it's a thicker primer. I've said that like six times. So Jackie, I hear it's a thicker primer. Okay, I'll just, whatever. So the dropper part, not great with this product, but it is what it is and we will 
for John. Very soft. It definitely is a thicker primer, but it feels good. It feels like a, almost like a moisturizer. Less like a serum, more like a moisturizer. Well, there's a little. Yeah, it looks nice. Don't mind the redness, you know me. My skin is has a mind of its own. All right, thank you, toothpick, but you were not helpful at all. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna go in with the foundation. And I'm going to use the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Buff. I love this foundation. Let me get a foundation brush because I like to put it on the brush and then go over it with a sponge because it just works well for me. I wish it had a pump. Hi. Okay, well, we don't want... You don't want this shimmer from the eyeshadow <laughs> on us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, key. Great, thank you. Just dot it on my face. Do not get it in your hair like you always do. All right. Now I'm going to blend it in with the e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. Cause I like this brush. It works really, really well. One of my favorite foundation brushes. I love this foundation. It looks so good on my skin. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. sponge. Just go over. Yeah, it looks good. It doesn't look any different than it usually does though, so I don't know how much that primer really did. But that's okay, because I love the way this foundation looks anyways. Okay, now we're gonna use some concealer. I'm gonna use the Glamouflage Full Cover Concealer. Why is this so messy? Just took it from around here because it's like super messy, but whatever. Okay. Why is it so messy? That's weird. Must have tipped it when it wasn't quite close all the way, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna use this little angly brush here to blend that in and then I'll go over it with a sponge. Okay. I'm going to powder my under eyes. Oops, okay. I'm gonna powder the under eyes. I'm gonna use the number seven triple action, oh, lift and illuminate triple action finishing powder in the shade light. I love this powder for my under eyes. Okay, powdered. Now we're gonna powder the rest of the face. And I'm going to use the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light. I'm light, y'all. I can't help it. I'm almost, ooh, I'm almost, almost out of this. I want to use this brush. Yeah, I think we're okay with this brush. I think. Push in the forehead lines. You don't want, you don't want cakey forehead lines. It makes me look old. Oh my gosh, that was too much. Okay. Now that we're nicely powdered down, 
And I have powder all over my shirt. It's kind of hard not to get it everywhere when it's a loose powder, you know? And now my nose itches, because why wouldn't it? Okay, now we are going to use the Bronze Brilliance Bronze and Glow palette. As soon as I get it open. Alright, let's take off this protective, maybe, oh my gosh, for real though, tape everywhere, tape, 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 there we go, ooh, pretty, alright, we're going to take this, oh boy, this is going to be dark, I think, but we're going to take this shade and try to use it as a bronzer, I'm a little scared. Let me clean off this bronzer brush a little bit. All right, let's see what we can do. I am so hot right now. Okay. Oh, oh, it's pigmented. Oh, <gasps> scared. Oh God, what have I done? It's not terrible. It's a little dark, but I probably just grabbed too much on the brush. Uh, maybe. It's a little dark. Oh, we're, oh, oh yeah, that's a little dark. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> we're bronzy today. Alrighty. Oh boy. What have I done? What have I done? It's okay. Might be able to tone it down with the, uh, A powder brush. We'll see, I guess. Oh my gosh. Maybe you don't tap into it so much, Jackie. Maybe that'll... Yeah, see, that's crazy. This is a little better. A little better. Not, not, not a ton, but a little. Alright, let me try to take this powder brush there we go. That's better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay. I was a little concerned there for a second. Alright. Well, it's still pretty. Wow. Okay. Doesn't look that bad in person, but on the camera it's like, hello. There, how's that? It's a little better. This side's definitely better. Okay, so, note to sell. Sorry, my nose is just, don't go in that much. Now I'm gonna take this little angle brush and try to contour my nose with it. Oh. Okay, contouring your nose is, all I did was tap it in and uh, we're a little crazy. Did I, I don't know, do I need to? Yeah, I probably should do on direction, huh? Okay, uh, let me get this brush again. And we're just gonna do under the chin a little bit, not too crazy. Alright, that's not too bad. That's better. I do need to kind of chill out the nose a little though. The nose is a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't, okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna do my brows real quick because it's driving me nuts that my brows are not done. Wet and wild brow obsessive 
it's almost gone guys and I can't my Walmart doesn't have it anymore so I'm like oh crud because I like it but whatever because when it's done it's done what okay brows are done now let's try this first let me throw on some blush okay 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 we're gonna put on blush and then we will do a highlight from the bronze brilliance palette I'm using this what is this beauty treats blush and go I'm just gonna take that shade with a, a blush blush okay there's some blush now let's Grab a brush and try out, I'm scared. We're gonna try this highlight and uh, cross our fingers. It's uh, not too dark for me. So here we go. Oh God, oh God, I'm scared. Uh, I don't know if it is or not, it is borderline almost too dark but man that's gorgeous that is a pretty highlight oh I like that I don't usually go for like these golden more goldy highlights because I don't know I just don't I usually go for a more champagne shade I'm a cool tone highlight kind of gal wow but that is pretty okay Okay. I don't know why I'm so surprised. I do enjoy this brand. I did not grab a lipstick to put on. Okay. Yay, that's pretty. All right, I'm going to spray my face. And then we'll finish the bottom lash line. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's finish the bottom lash line. Hmm. I want to keep it going with this tealy color. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to take the darker one. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. take the transition shade oh and then I'm gonna take a small I don't know what brush this little brush and I'm going to go into this shimmery shade it's kind of like a goldy shimmer shade I'm gonna use that as the inner corner maybe Yeah, that's pretty. Let's spray the brush though. Let's, let's really make it pop. Okay, there we go. Now it's popping. Look at it. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Okay. Just gonna take a little bit and just kind of put it under the brow. Nothing too crazy, but something, something. Now I need to uh, put on some mascara, which I'll be using the W7 Ultra Plush. It's my face. All right. Now, I need a lipstick. I take a sip of my coffee first.
Zipline, Zipline. Ow, that hurt. I don't know what color lipstick would go with this. That, my friends, is a good question. Um. Let me see. Alright. I'm gonna use the Hadwar Poudiere. Poudiere, you know, this one that I use when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to take Rodeo Drive from Gerard Cosmetics. It's this pretty pinky neutral, I guess. Mauvey neutral. Hmm. Almost looks like the same as the Vintage Rose shade, almost. Yeah, is that it? Are we done? Are we done? We're done. Okay, let's let's discuss, shall we? Uh, this is so pretty. I love this look. It is just, it's so beautiful. It's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, I really like this palette. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play with it a lot. Um, and the shadows are so blendable and the shimmers are so, they're almost like a cream type. They're so soft and like creamy. I love it. I love it. Um, the blur to perfection. I do not like the, the, this doesn't do it. It's too thick of a primer for this to pick up. So it's kind of a pain, but it did feel nice on the skin and, uh, it may have blurred a little, but not like anything super intense, but I like it. If I can get it out of the bottle, I'll use it again. <laughs> you know. Um, and this is, oh, you gotta be real careful with this. Uh, if you're, if you have a skin tone close to mine, <sighs> if I can open it. You have a skin tone close to mine. Be very, very careful with this shade. Cause it can uh, be quite intense. But if you just do it a little bit, then I think it looks nice. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I don't, I think it looks good. It's actually probably more of like a contour shade though than a bronze, but. And the highlight is so pretty. It's like lit from within. It is borderline, it is almost too dark for me, but not quite. These two, I'll probably have to use them as like an eyeshadow because there's no way, no way those are gonna work for me, but. It is, it is a nice formula. I do like it a lot. And yeah, that's it. That was all my fun newness for this video. There'll be more fun newness. We still gotta try the Prime Magic primer. And we still have these other shadows to play with. I'm super excited. They're so pretty. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, and it lets me know that you liked my video. Yeah. Uh, that is it for today's video. I cannot wait to play with this stuff some more, and um, hopefully you will tune into future videos and watch me play with stuff some more. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!